Hello, Gloria. It's an honor to speak with you. I loved One Day at a Time, and now I'm loving with love. Oh, yeah. um, yes. I think it's so cool how you chronicle like a year in festivities, because as we both know, I'm sure, uh, Latinos love a good party. They love they, a holiday. They do. Every holiday is the best holiday. It's so true. what <laughs> inspired that concept for you? Well, I love the holidays and, uh, you know, the pandemic was very heavy and at Christmas time, I love watching, you know, love actually an elf. And I, I love those holiday rom-coms and it really occurred to me, like, where are we in those rom-coms? Where are we? We don't exist. Mm. And so, uh, you know, with one day at a time, I was able to, uh, put a, a Latino family in a, in a modern, um, you know, sitcom space. And I wanted to do the same I wanted us to exist in this space. And the holidays seemed like the perfect way to do it. You know, initially I was thinking, oh, I just want to show Noche Buena. People don't know that we celebrate mm -hmm. Noche Buena. And then I was like, oh, but we have so many good New Year's traditions. And I've never seen uvas eaten and all the traditions, right. never seen it on TV in my life. It'd be so cool to do that. But the so then it just became like, how about I just do, oh my gosh, guess what? There's holidays every few months. <laughs> Let's do that. So, uh, so, you know, when I pitched, I pitched it this year, I pitched it in January at Amazon Oh wow! and I pitched it as 10 episodes and a whole year. And they were like, we love this. How quickly can you make it? And we could only do five to get mm. it out by, by Christmas, which is why it's only five episodes. Right. Uh, but it was just joyful to get to, I think I needed to make it too. I think it was a he heavy year. So mm. I got to enjoy making it with this beautiful cast. And then now we get to put it out in the world as a little, it's a little warm hug for everybody for the holidays. It is a warm hug. I love it. And I love also like the structure of like everyone's relationship somehow has like echoes in our main foundational, our matriarch and our patriarch, um, Beatriz and Jorge. What was it like crafting that dynamic and then sort of building off that for all the kids? Well, you know, I, I my parents never fought in front of us and uh, they were always so loving, held hands, like very affectionate couple. And uh, I would joke in college where my friends were bitching about their their parents who hated each other and were divorced. I was like, my parents love each other too much. That's just as bad, you know, because no relate. I'm in a relationship. I'm like, well, you're never going to love me the way my dad loves my mom. So what are we even doing here? Uh, so it's funny that <laughs> parents and kids, it's just it's those relationships are complex. So I wanted to show what that looked like. What does it look like for these kids? Because Jorge and Lily both, Jorge Jr. And, Jorge and Lily both have these sort of idealized versions of what relationships are based on their parents. And so to get to see that their parents aren't perfect, their parents have flaws that they've just sort of kept hidden from their kids because they wanted their kids to experience, to see what love looked like. And then the grandparents, I mean, the the, pe the first people to have sex on this show are the abuela and abuelo in the pilot. The first people to have sex on the show are the 70 year olds. Okay. Yes. So that I wanted to just show generationally the depth, the depth of like finding love, but keeping love. What does keeping mm. love look like? Uh, and we got to, we got to do that with this epic, epic cast. I love it so much. I hope that we get a second season with five more holidays. Um, thank you so much. You are a joy.